Welcome to the deep dive. So today we're digging into a technical document one of you actually sent over. It's about unit one of something called the MRIX process. That's right. And you're asking how they get uh, certain impurities out of LPG? LPG, liquefied petroleum gas, like, you know, propane for your grill. Yeah. Our job today is to sort of unpack this industrial process, cut through the jargon. And figure out how it actually works, yeah. Because LPG is great stuff, but impurities, especially these sulfur ones we'll talk about, they can be a real headache. Headache? Like... We'll think bad smells like rotten eggs, which nobody wants, plus corrosion, damaging pipes and tanks, and it can even mess up other processes that use the LPG down the line. So cleaning it is pretty important. Okay, got it. And we have a process flow diagram, right? A picture showing the steps. Yes. Exactly, a visual map. It's super helpful for seeing how everything connects the equipment, the chemicals flowing through. We can walk you through that. Perfect. So what's the main bad guy we're targeting here? More captains. They're sulfur compounds, chemically written as RSH. And the thing about them is they stink. Even tiny, tiny amounts have a really powerful, unpleasant odor. Ah, uh, so that's the main driver. Getting rid of the smell. Primarily, yes. Though the other issues like corrosion matter too. And the solution is this Mirax process. Yep. Merimax is basically a technology for sweetening the LPG. Sweetening just means removing those sulfur compounds, mainly the mercaptans. Okay, sweetening, I like that. How does it start? Where does the LPG first go? So the raw LPG feed enters the unit and goes straight into what's called the caustic pre-wash section. Caustic pre-wash. Caustic means sodium hydroxide, NEOH. That's the one. Fresh caustic solution. The LPG bubbles through it. But I thought we were after mercaptans. What's this pre-wash doing? Good question. It's um, it's mainly there to remove other acidic things first, like hydrogen sulfide, HERS, if there's any present. Ah, okay. Like a first pass cleanup. Exactly. The reaction is pretty simple. NaOH plus HEROs gives you sodium hydrosulfide and water. It kind of clears the deck and might grab some of the more acidic mercaptans too. And the use up caustic from this stage. That spent caustic just gets drained off. It's done its job. Right. So pre-washed LPG moves on. Where to? To the main event, the mercaptan extractor. Often it's a tall tower with trays inside. Trays? Like steps? Sort of, yeah. They ensure good contact between the LPG flowing up and a special caustic solution flowing down. This is called the Lean MROX Caustic. Lean meaning it's ready to absorb more stuff. Precisely. It's the regenerated caustic, ready to react. And this is where the core reaction happens. The RSH mercaptans react with the MenOH in the solution. Okay, what happens chemically? You get RSH plus NaOH forming NSSR sodium mercaptide in water. The key thing is that the sodium mercaptide, never OA, dissolves in the water-based caustic solution. Ah, so the sulfur compound moves from the LPG into the liquid caustic. Exactly. It's extracted out of the gas. The diagram might also mention a catalyst sometimes used here as needed. What would that do? Just speed things up? Basically, yeah. Makes the reaction happen faster or more completely. Makes sense. So, leaving the extractor, we've got our sweetened LPG, mostly free of mercaptans, and this rich Merax caustic solution now loaded with those sodium mercaptides. Correct. The sweetened LPG isn't quite finished, though. It needs a bit more cleanup. Okay, what's next for the LPG? First, it goes to a caustic settler. Just a tank, really, to let any tiny droplets of the caustic solution that got carried along physically drop out. Like letting muddy water settle. Good analogy. Then it gets a water wash, just washing with plain water to rinse off any last traces of caustic. Right, make sure it's really clean. And finally, it passes through a salt bed. This is for drying. The salt absorbs any remaining dissolved water. Like those little silica gel packets. Exactly like that, just on an industrial scale. What comes out the other end is our final product. Dry, sweetened LPG. Ready to go. Okay, nice and clean LPG. But what about that rich caustic, the stuff full of the captured mercaptans? You don't just throw that away, do you? Oh, no. This is where the process gets really smart. It's a closed loop for the caustic. A loop? How? The rich Merrick's caustic gets heated up, usually with steam, and then pumped into the oxidizer. Oxi it sounds like oxygen is involved. It is. Compressed air is blown in. Inside the oxidizer, there's also usually a packed bed, maybe anthracite coal, which helps the reaction. So air meets the rich caustic. What's the goal? To regenerate the caustic. The oxygen reacts with the sodium mercaptides. It turns them into. It turns them into disulfides, RSSR, and crucially, it turns the sodium part back into sodium hydroxide, NaOH. So you get your active caustic back. Wow. Okay. So the reaction is basically four NaSR plus ORO plus two HRO gives you two RSSR plus four NaOH. 
you recover the valuable NaOH. Exactly. That's the economic environmental booty of it. You're not constantly consuming fresh caustic, you reuse it. That is clever. What about the disulfides, the RSSR? They're oily liquids, not very soluble in the caustic. They separate out easily in a downstream separator vessel. And where do they go? They're usually sent off for further processing. Maybe blended into fuel oil or sent to another unit like a hydrotreater for more intensive sulfur removal. They're less problematic than mercaptans, but still managed. Got it. And the regenerated caustic, now lean again. It gets pumped right back to the top of the mercaptan extractor tower to treat more incoming LPG. The loop is complete. Brilliant. So if you simplify the whole thing, ignoring the caustic going round and round. The overall net reaction is essentially taking four mercaptan molecules, four RSH, and reacting them with one oxygen molecule, OUro, to produce two disulfide molecules, two RSSR, and two water molecules, two Eros. Converting the really smelly stuff into something less offensive using air with the help of this reusable caustic cycle. Precisely summed up. It's a very elegant piece of chemical engineering. Efficient and it minimizes waste. Okay, so wrapping this up for you listening, the key thing from this MeroX Unit 1 document is this really smart chemical cycle. You use caustic soda to pull the stinky mercaptans out of LPG. Then you use plain old air to regenerate that caustic, turning the mercaptans into less troublesome disulfides, and you reuse the caustic again and again. The real aha moment here is that it's not just removal, it's this continuous regeneration. It's about efficiency, reusing chemicals, minimizing waste. Absolutely. And it makes you think, doesn't it? How many other products we use every day rely on these kinds of, you know, hidden chemical processes? These clever cycles designed to purify something essential or get rid of something harmful, often by recycling key ingredients. What other unseen chemistry is making our modern world possible? Something to ponder.